freue mich äh, sehr her herzlich, die zwei Herren äh, zu begrüßen. Vom And I'm happy to welcome the two gentlemen from Hardware Prototype Fund. Ja, hallo. Herzlich willkommen auch äh, von meiner Seite. Um, Hi. Äh, welcome Zeit. from my side. I'm happy that you're part of this before the Congress ends and the year ends with a beginning, at least for us. Many thanks to Exxon for and everyone involved. I'm really happy that we have this stream. We just heard that everyone worked more than 30 hours, so this is really impressive. And you are listening because you are interested in open hardware. And the things that we're going to talk about are fairly straightforward. We will say a bit about ourselves and our perspective on open hardware, because because if we're talking about an open source open source hardware fund, then there are certain things that we need to discuss. And we will mention some aspects why we are of the opinion that now is a good time for open hardware. And we also want to talk about the external conditions for our program. So regarding the both of us, you might know that the Open Knowledge Foundation is a bit more well known in this area. And both of us are working for that foundation. And we are following the aim with this organization and by the sharing and opening of knowledge, we want to increase the access to technology and to improve education. We support youth hacking and we also want to introduce the prototype fund for hardware. Just about my background or just about my perspective. So I'm part of the Open Knowledge Foundation for five years now. And I was at edulabs.de and I was thinking about the question, how does education have to look like in a society where technology is omnipresent? And what, what do we need? And one problem was that the infrastructures that we are working with in the education system are by no means uh, open and people have no possibilities to actually look into the technology. And that, that's why open hardware is a very important aspect. And that's one perspective. And I'm also doing uh, handiwork, crafty work with electronics and open, yeah, open hack space, open maker space is something that I, I found and I participated in. And open hardware also means infrastructure. We need machines. You need tools, and that's why shared infrastructures are an important aspect, and that's why I'm also working for uh, gaining, for establishing a network of uh, workshops, so fab labs, and maker spaces, so that um, the technical infrastructure is available to many people. Um, but so later when we come together for the questions, uh, but before that, so I also want to give my co-speaker the word. Hello. 
I also like open hardware and I also in 2007 with Hannes in Shanghai I built a toy step sequencer and since then I'm working on that and in the previous years more in an institutionalized context also with Carables we had a talk at Congress regarding that we did people uh, we worked with people with, with disabilities and found different solutions and the open health academy also was founded the other horizon 2020 project i'm also currently involved in it's more about the question how companies can use hope open hardware and how they can develop it and that's the main focus to develop it further at the ct we have a we published an open source hardware article you can still get the ct magazine if you're interested yeah the ct magazine that's the magazine of my youth and you might have heard that open hardware also part is of visions and it's about having a society that is ready for the future of course ecological aspects also matters economic aspects matter decon uh, decentralized structures are needed so at the beginning of the 20s there you could obtain technology with instructions with schemas so there are there have been changes the devices are much more restricted less easy to tinker with so there's like a trend to really shut off the devices against tinkerers we all know that the right to repair that it, that it should be a fundamental right but in our perspective it is really just a minimum requirement we should be able to take apart technology we should be able to have replacement parts and if um, and right now it looks like so we have to have a right to open hardware and to repair things uh, there is some resonance in the politi in politics so in the recent coalition contract by the new german government there there are some plans now now you could argue okay where does sustainability start where does it end but in our opinion uh, sustainability cannot work without open hardware so that people can repair devices and also they need to have access to spare parts and which what type of hardware we will uh, and the eu commission has uh, published a study where they announce open source hardware as the next revolution and we see that there is good conditions um, and we also consider this to be a request to us um, or a demand to us to work on this and this enables us also to go, go further 
and to also strengthen existing uh, developments. Therefore, the prototype fund hardware will that is something we will explain further now. Of course, it is connected to the prototype fund for software. Uh, we also get some applications from the area of hardware, which we cannot fund because of uh, yeah, because of the constraints. Even though software and hardware can be somewhat similar, um, but the challenges are different, uh, and the challenges of hardware can be a lot harder. But we will have a lot of exchange between the software and the hardware fund. And what are the possibilities for the first round of grants? We, are, we can fund six projects with 9,500 euros each. And these are tasks that um, where the product should be the documentation. So you have a lot of freedom for the realization of the project. Um, but the final product is actually the documentation. The starting, so that you can apply starting from the 15th of April. Open hardware is a very broad topic. And it has the same focus as the prototype fund for software. It should focus on civic tech. And we want to focus on public interest hardware. I will explain this a bit further later. And it's about technologies from the civil society to the civil society. And documentation is a very big focus because open hardware is only exists if the documentation for it exists. Of course, open designs, open design is also important, but the documentation is the key to making hardware open. And what we want to focus on are open workshops um, so that a hackerspace in a fab lab can, yeah, is connected to us and people can realize their projects in those places. And we want to support these open structures so that projects can find a home in one of these hacker spaces or fab spaces. We already have a really nice design. We have a combination of black boxing and unboxing because our, yeah, basically our slogan is like, yeah, we want to open things up. The project, the way it currently is, is part of a research project. We have the chance to realize the prototype fund in the context of this bigger project. And we have three basic questions. So, to which degree can open source hardware become a part for vision for a rural uh, area, geographic area, so that we also take into account regional econo economics and how can people uh, get infused for these things and which civil, which projects with civil civil society significance can be created. And the project will be connected on the local area. And then there will be also be the federal area. 
We are working together with partners that offer mobile open uh, workshops like the this mobile here, this mobile bus here. We have a fab lab from the Wissenschaftsladen Potsdam. And we also work together with the University of Potsdam. And the procedure is that we work very closely together or work very much together with our partners in the region. And they will basically mirror how successful the projects are. But everyone in all of Germany can apply for these projects. That is basically the background. But we also want to work on this long term. And we have far reaching goals. And we really want to have a long term uh, financial support for these things. We want to support six good examples for open hardware that put open hardware to the forefront so that at the end we can really show what is possible with open hardware. And we want to adver advertise open hardware and that is a fun a very central goal of this campaign. We also want to define what is public interest and in the civic technology. There are already some good examples. Some people are really upset with Log4j and this is a place where we could yeah, consider um, the consequences of open source and open hardware. We are also working together with other people who have been invested in open hardware for many years already. And there's a lot of exchange. And we're also thinking about, okay, how should this process work in general, who, how we should select projects and also think about, okay, what is actually public interest hardware. We also have a gallery on our website where we can yeah, show, show some things that illustrate the direction into which the projects can go. Of course, this does not mean that this represents all possible areas in which open hardware makes sense. And we are really happy if you send your examples or your ideas so this becomes a community project because we don't want to fill this all by ourselves and and with this call i'm coming to an end or rather i would like to see this as a start because now things are yeah getting going and that's why i say hey let's go if you are interested in any content or in the slides, then you can go to this address ogi.de slash rc3. If you have any questions, you can use ask on Twitter and also you can use this URL to and you can also visit us in the RC3 world and you find the link in the slides. Many thanks. Are there any questions? You already explained extensively. We 
you would need Flailix. So, ich gucke vielleicht selbst mal auf Twitter. Sorry, um, pardon, ich musste kurz gucken, um, ob jetzt hier jetzt im Patch schon... Excuse me, I had to check something. Is there already some questions at the pad? But the problem is, the computer is not booting up as it should. Okay, now. Yes, we do have some questions. The first question is... Oh, sorry, could you please... Close the door, it's a bit loud. First question is, which EU Commission report is that where they talk about this new revolution, next revolution with open hardware? I read around, but I don't know. This is linked in the slides, if you open them. I just showed the link. These pictures are linked. And you simply can go on them and read through there. You can find it. Okay, yeah, long text. You should ra rather read yourself instead of getting them announced. Next question. Are there in other German-speaking languages uh, countries similar initiatives also the german speaking is in parentheses so maybe neighboring countries any similar initiatives i don't know any but i know that in netherlands he has a focus on health i think but i'm not sure then daniel can you say something these public tent funds They go into this direction, but I don't know whether they talk about something with open hardware. There's a long title that I have to read, a study of open of the impact of open hardware on the EU economy. This is what it's called. It's a study. It's been published. Yeah, there's... A, definitely a program in the Netherlands that also does open hardware but not uh, they have a really clear focus on a one topic but not far-reaching all-encompassing but I don't know the title I would have to look it up okay another question do you have a specific example Uh, for a project that would be presentable. We have the gallery to ha uh, to collect good examples. In this context, what would fit, I don't know, but you could orient yourself based on that. In this local focus, it's really interesting what is there in the Lausitz, what are the things that wouldn't just be interested for, interesting for me, but for others what is necessary, what would help with open workshops to for them to do a better job and uh, connect with more people. And on a national context, it would be definitely something where we would see which things would have a larger impact and it would be really helpful to have the funding because a lot of people would profit of that in the end. Do you have some examples, Max? Uh, as I said, the, we have the uh, examples in the gallery just because of that. I'm a fan of mobility. There are several examples for that, but sadly, they're not perfect, not uh, perfect uh, open hardware examples. In the area of electrotechnic, it makes There's a lot of examples, but I don't want to go into detail on single things. But 
I want to talk about, uh, just leave it to the gallery so that there's not this a wrong impression. What I have to say at the end, there's a jury that will decide and they will have appropriate criteria for that. That's how it's going to go. And I have to admit that I just had a question. So if you think about prototyping of hardware, then you need people delivering you certain parts because you can't do everything yourself. And it's also known that right now there are delivery problems, problems in the area of hardware. And this is like a problem right now. So your prototype farm fund is probably limited to half a year. Do you think it will have an impact that we have delivery problems of hardware right now? So will yeah, will the short lifetime be a problem? Yes, I think. Electronics is a strong example, but I also think there's great other things with hardware, hardware and open, that can be open hardware. So thinking about that would make sense. But on the other hand, what would be interesting for me, Felix, at Xhain, we want to work together with workshops. This would be a place where we would welcome people in this context to form a team? Yeah, um, I think personally, I can't think of a project that I could apply with, but I would be very happy if there, if there would be, yeah, if we could provide, the, if we could be, become a hardware lab ourselves so that people who want to do something in the area of 3D uh, printing or electronics, our x um hackerspace uh, can help out people. So I definitely think we could should talk with the prototype fan and we're not limit, we don't want to limit ourselves to software because we actually have everything that people would need. Maybe just shortly to your question to add, we said, what I said, that the documentation is very important, but we are not completely dependent that the prototype is done in time or really testable, but it's important to have the knowledge to re replicate what you already have. This is the fo in focus the documentation, there's so many good open source projects, open source hardware projects on the internet, but they are not necessarily open source. And this is also because of the lacking documentation. And that's why the focus is on this. Yes, documentation is a tricky topic. You'd rather build your prototype instead of actually writing down what you did and what worked and what didn't. And I can understand that. There's another question, with very specific. I have an idea for small um, air power stations. Is that something that you would support? Generally, yes. There's a cool project. Rudy, I think the Wind Power Collective, they already have a prototype and it's really good to exchange yourself with them because they had a lot of experience. They're also in the business of wind privately with, with their job and so small wind power plants are really important. They see that as a useful means to create generate electricity and also sun power. But generally, this is a good example for that. But on the individual level, it depends how the it's put into practice. I have also have a point what I've talked about 
it's useful if you develop something and you have a user group to get can get in touch with them and also take them with you and not just develop uh, on the side but also directly do it for them okay thank you for your attention also from the translation booth you just heard the talk prototype fund hardware einblicke und ausblicke by maximilian voigt and daniel wesolek it was translated by jörn and attila e if you have feedback for us please use the hashtag c3lingo and hardware hardwareprototypefund.de is the website where you can get more information about the content of this talk. Okay. Thank you very much for listening and goodbye.